Hello everyone. I'd like to show you a do Google consent mode. This feature is designed to manage customers' consent for using website cookies within the do system. Let's start by going to the app section, where we should ensure that a do Google consent mode is already installed. Next, we need to configure a do Google consent mode. Head over to the website section, click on configuration, and then settings. A do Google consent mode comes with two modules, Google Tag Manager and Google Tag gtag.js, which allow adding of Google tracking scripts to your website. Let's activate one or both scripts according to your needs since a do Google consent mode requires it. Through these scripts, Ado communicates the customer's consent whether they agree to the use of cookies or not. After activating Google Tag Manager and Google Tag, we need to fill in their identifiers. Next, in the Privacy section, we should activate Ado Cookie Bar. This feature helps us collect cookie consent from users and after that, we click on a Save button. The next step is setting a default value for Google Consent Mode. In the Configuration menu, choose Google Consent Settings. Then, click on the New button to create a new record. In the pop-up menu, select a website from the list. You will see different consent options for various types of cookies, these can vary by country. You can add a general setting, such as enabling only security storage by default, or add specific cookie settings for different countries by selecting a country or region with the values applied by default. In our case, we'll create global settings. This means that all types of cookies will be turned off except for security storage to ensure the website functions properly. Additionally, we can configure further settings for a do Google consent mode. Go to configuration and in the pop-up menu, select websites. From the website list, choose your site. In the cookies consent tab, you can activate or deactivate debug logging. When debug logging is activated, additional service messages will appear in the browser console. In the Google Consent Mode section, you can view the default value list. There are also additional settings for Google Consent Mode, such as ads data redaction and URL pass-through, which can be activated if needed. Let's test the functionality of Google Consent Mode. To do this, log out of the system or use another browser or switch to incognito mode. This is necessary because the scripts are deactivated when you are logged in. Open another browser and navigate to the homepage of your website. On the homepage, you should see the Ado Cookies panel at the bottom of the page with two options. If you choose Only Essentials, only the default cookies will be saved. If you choose I Agree, all types of cookies will be allowed to be saved. In this video, we are going to use I Agree button, but before clicking on it, I'd like to show you that the default values were sent to Google, which we can verify by opening the Google extension name to tag Haunt. We can see the events that were created after the web page was opened. As observed, our Google consent value is activated, and other events that are set by default are denied, with only one event granted, as we had configured initially. Now, let's click on I Agree button. After clicking, our consents are additionally updated, meaning we have consented to the use of cookies. Let's open the Google extension again. You can see that new updates are located at the end of the list, showing that the consent information about using cookies has been updated and sent to Google. That's all I wanted to share with you about Ado Google Consent Mode. We also have an extension of the Ado Google Consent Mode, called Ado Cookie Consent Banner. It allows you to display a pop-up banner to make choices of different cookie types, like as marketing or analytics cookies. Watch our next video if you'd like to learn how to manage agreements for different types of Google Consent modes.